The bubble that surrounds our entire solar system and shields us from dangerous interstellar radiation has been mapped for the first time. The bubble is known as the heliosphere. It's created by solar wind, which streams out from the sun as a steady flood of hot, charged particles. Solar wind travels past all the planets in our system, extending over twice as far as the orbit of Pluto. The heliosphere ends way out in interstellar space, where the solar wind becomes too weak to overcome the winds of space, blowing toward the sun with the radiation of countless nearby stars. This boundary where our solar system ends is called the heliopause. There have been theories about the size and the shape of the heliosphere, but a new study has created the first ever 3D map of it. Scientists used techniques similar to how bats use sonar to create mental maps of their surroundings. They tracked solar wind particles as they traveled from the sun to the edge of the solar system and back again using a decade of data collected by NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer satellite. The amount of time it took the particles to blow in various directions before being pushed back by interstellar radiation helped them map the invisible edges of the heliosphere. What's interesting about the shape of the heliosphere is that it isn't actually all that spherical. The study found it's more of a wobbly blob that's a lot thinner on one side. Scientists say the wonky proportions are due to the sun's orbit around the center of the Milky Way galaxy. The sun pushes against interstellar winds in its path, so the distance between the edge of the heliosphere and the sun is shorter on the windward side. The team says the other side of the heliosphere, the one that extends further out, may be even longer than their map shows. Their mapping technique couldn't extend any further than 350 AU, or 350 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. It seems this mystery isn't fully solved just yet. We may have to wait for an interstellar probe to uncover more details. That probe could launch in the 2030s, but it would take another 10 or 15 years to reach the edge of our solar system. For Space TV News, I'm Cambry Caldwell.